What's up guys? So, today, in the mail, came this little beast. It's a wind up, little hand cranked USB dynamo. Little red light means that you're making some power. So basically, what they reckon you can do on their uh, listing is give it a wind and uh, use it to charge up your phone or uh, it's got a picture of a phone and a tablet and a few other bits and pieces it's got this little USB voltmeter let me see if I can As you can see, it puts out up to 6 volts with some pretty vigorous cranking. So with it under load like that, you can actually hear the gears in it skipping. So for argument's sake, let's say it's pretty much friggin' useless. I bought it with 100% the intention just to pull it apart. For me and for you guys. Wrong way, stupid. So, obviously, you get a USB port, you get a little LED. I'm going to guess that there's a uh, little DC motor that's uh, geared up to the buggery that, that's spinning. It's, uh, Curiosity's got me. Let's have a look inside. Oh, wow. Look at the uh, gearing up. So we've got our primary drive. So we've got one step up, two step up, three step up. And the fourth, there's four step ups. So, whatever speed I'm actually winding it at, it's four times that, or more than more than four times that at the motor. But there's four steps in the uh, speed ramp up. They've actually got some uh, pretty thick and heavy grease on them. As you can see, the shafts are only just sitting. Plastic mold. Plastic mold's pretty weak at best, I guess you'd say. And at the bottom here, as I thought, a little uh, DC motor. Made in China, what are the chances? Oh, all right. It's all out there, out in the open. So just with a flick, I can actually make that light up. Now I've got a little shit grease all over me. Now how much uh, power do you think we're ever going to get through these little wires? <laughs> so what's the board got to say? Not a great deal, there's some uh, numbers, basically just component, component ratings. It's an extremely simple board, a diode, two diodes, two resistors, a three-legged IC which is on a big wonky lean because one of the legs was too short, and a capacitor and an LED. Nothing super exciting. In that respect, why was it making that shearing noise? Might try and put it back into the other half of its case.
down this end. USB back in there. See if we can improve it anyway. So I reckon what's wrong is that gear is hanging out a bit. Oop. And it's a damn slippery. There's nothing really stopping the uh, that one from floating around. I guess it might capture a bit better once we put the uh, other half back in. So we'll just stack them gently. Quite amazing that you can hand crank it so fast, considering the uh, the build quality. Okay. Something's not quite lined up. Flipped it upside down accidentally. I wonder if we can get that on there a bit further. Basically, it looks like this is just shitty alignment. It's way too far, but at least we know it moves. Give it a wiggle back. So I purchased this on Geek. Has a lot of the rubbish I buy comes from. If you're one of them people that goes, oh, who would ever buy one of them? Yeah, it could have been me. It's, um, cheap rubbish you find on the internet's fun sometimes. Again, you have to look at what someone like Big Clive does, and, uh, he makes cool videos, reverse engineering cheap shit every day. He's also a very, very clever man. But um, if you don't know who Big Clive is, YouTube search him. It will uh, tickle your fancy. Righto. So I reckon we've got a better alignment on last gear to motor. Let's chuck that back together. It's a bit fouled on something, but we'll try it anyway. As soon as I seen it, I knew I had to go and get one. I uh, I remember years and years ago, we had an electronics store in Australia called Dick Smith. They went into uh, leadership all the Not all that long ago, but... Um, Dick Smith was an electronic store and they had these um, torches and they were a uh, diamond, dynamo powered torch and a uh, couple of jumping and stripping there. So that is the quality of it. Anyway, dynamo, dynamo powered torches. They were uh, only small. Only ran. They had a solar panel on the side. They had on one side. They were waterproof. Uh, they could be screwed apart. They ran a couple of NiCad AA rechargeables. And uh, yeah, just really, really. Well, they weren't cheap. That's the thing. They were like seventy bucks. I remember annoying Dad until he let me buy one with some birthday money or whatever and uh, when I actually bought one you could sit there and wind the dynamo for like 15 minutes and you'd get maybe half an hour's worth of light out of it it was poor and uh, when I seen this on Geek for $1.50 Australian uh, I, I just had to buy one so uh, 
you're looking for a solution to charge your phone in an emergency situation, if you're out hiking or uh, something horrible like that, spend more than a dollar fifty. Because, <laughs> uh, as I suspected, the gear sets in these step up drastically, and uh, that's the, that's ultimately the downfall. The little motor, it's not going to last very long spinning at that kind of speed either. Like you're probably going to get jack of spinning it before long, but it's not going to last long. And uh, uh, the charge me app thing on my phone only registered 300 milliamps. That's probably on the generous side. That was probably only because it was getting 6 volts instead of 5. But as you've seen with the meter plugged in there, we're only getting about 150 milliamps. So we'll keep the little generator and the USB circuit. Put him up there. Up there for future things. We might put a little uh, little drill or something on there and see what kind of voltage we can get out of it. But in here, didn't last long. It's the end of that. Thanks heaps for watching. Thanks for subscribing. If you like the automotive stuff I do, go and follow One Up the Sleeve Customs Automotive as well. If not, just have a nice day. Catch you later.